So, hi, I'm, I'm Andy. So, instead of uh, just giving out what Bybit is doing, you know, I just want to give a little bit more insights on uh, how the industry is evolving and how we as an exchange is, um, <clears throat> is looking at some of the projects that are coming on board. So, so a, very, a very simple title, you know, I'm, I'm just looking at things about AI plus the Web3 and how these two industry can be closely linked. You know, because when I speak to a lot of uh, AI experts, you know, they would think that, hey man, you know, uh, blockchain is useless. You know, uh, the tokenomics that we have right now will not really fit to what the AI guys are, are looking at. So I'll just give a very quick overview on how we look at things, some of the trends, and uh, how, how we see some of these things moving forward. Uh, that's, that's myself, um, let's uh, move on. So, so Web3, we all know, right? We, we have a very straightforward vision of looking at things more decentralized, you know? And uh, how we look at the blockchain technology that is built on top of the whole ecosystem that we talk about. Uh, next, thank you. Um, then we talk about AI, you know, we, we have different sets of uh, AI definition in mind. Um, if, if you talk to a practitioner like myself, you know, where I do a lot of uh, productivity uh, talks and so forth, you know, we tend to look at AI from a very productive uh, angle. It's very easy to explain to end users what, what's AI, what it can do, you know, how it, how it can go from a planning stage and how it can be adopted into many different industries. Uh, next, please. So how, how can uh, AI further empower Web3? So Web3 can empower, um, be more empowered and be more efficient, can be more secure, can be more user friendly, you know, using, using AI. Next. So, so I see things from a very simple uh, point of view. I think the first one would be very dear to our heart. You know, it is uh, automated. So AI can help in a lot of uh, automation. You know, it can also give us a different personalized experience, you know, just like one, one, one of the projects, um, I think it's, uh, I think the one with the shell, you know, creating voices, creating interaction. Um, this is all very straight, straightforward, you know, uh, mix. How can blockchain manage AI and make it safer for all of us? You know, I look at this from an AI, blockchain AI governance model. Um, like I said, there's a lot of detail to how this can be explained, but in a very nutshell, I think this is some of the things that we are looking at. Uh, next. Um, next, yeah. So as individual, what, what, do, what can you benefit from this whole process? You know, um, first, I, I think about fraud detection, you know, using AI, that would be good. And then you can integrate this into a blockchain where you can verify the data again, so that you could double verify what, what you're trying to do. And then um, copyright and intellectual protection, you know, same thing, you know, a lot of uh, copyright, if, if the material itself is already on chain, you know, and then AI can help to filter all this sort of process. I think this can be a really good selling point. Smart, smart contract and uh, decentralization. The, the reason why I mentioned about this is that um, in a lot of our projects, you know, whenever we talk about decentralization, most of these projects are not really very decentralized, right? So in, in, in my humble opinion, you know, and, and of course with some of the practitioner, we are looking at bringing AI in such that the AI can become a governance body for the whole, um, for the whole, for example, for, for DAO, for example. So this is uh, the, the, the chain of thoughts. So there are a lot of future possibilities we can go on from, from here. So, since, since I come from uh, Bybit, you know, we, we look at different things. So we have a tools, uh, GPT. So this will help us with a lot of AI training um, for, the, for different users, whether you're a new user, you're a very expert user, you know, the, the tools itself can provide you with trends and provide you with uh, possible uh, trading strategies. Thanks. Um, this is another term, uh, which is, uh, I call it Web4. So I, I, I truly, believe that uh, Web3 is not decentralized. So I wrote a lot of articles about it, but the core I ideology behind it is that AI can become the body that, that can help the whole process to be more decentralized. 
So there's a lot of things to talk about. And the last but not least, I think you know from an exchange perspective, we are looking at uh, big user base and so forth. You know, we 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 only want a legitimate business, but at the same time, if you look at the market right now, the AI relationship business is is actually really big. You know, you could uh, you know it could be a really good add-on to some of the dating sites like uh, Match.com and so forth. So you know, I, I look forward to more of such projects. You know, and uh, of course, uh, listening on 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 Bybit. Next. So some final thoughts, really quick ones. I think um, humble opinion. I'm not sure if everyone would agree to this. So blockchain to control AI. So this is a uh, one school of thought. Next. Um, don't trust human. You know, I, I trust I trust the math a lot better than uh, than human being. So AI can be that that bridge that bridging uh, body. Next, please. AI to empower uh, blockchain. So, you know, I just see this from a more practical standpoint. Last but not uh, least, uh, AI assists to lower entry for Web3. So AI itself, for example, I've been talking to different projects uh, as an investor as well. They have an uh, AI body or AI that could actually help you with the whole process of uh, creating a wallet, even keeping some of your private keys for you, you know. It sounds like a joke, you know, to many, but to be honest, uh, you know, it lowers the barrier of entry for, for a lot of uh, Web2 users. Next, please. Uh, AI, AI plus uh, Web3, this is uh, where I see the real uh, zero proof, uh, zero knowledge proof uh, can, can really extend. Um, so uh, my, my final words is a uh, blockchain is a decentralized brain for AI to connect with the world. So this, uh, my, my humble uh, uh, quote, and then that's the end. Thank you. Thanks, Benji, for the great sharing on various AI and Web3 topics. Now we'll have one more presentation by our co-host. So let's watch a very short video that 